Hey guys, welcome to a lesser known area of my cave. This is my mold making area. I've got a slop sink behind me and a, a dirty table, a table I can get as dirty as I want. And this is where I often deal with casting and mold making in the shop. So what do I use casting and mold making for? Well, in the Haywood Floyd lunchbox, for example, that I made from 2001 A Space Odyssey, it had a couple of latches on it that I looked for for months and realized I couldn't find, so I'd have to make them from scratch. And so I did. Uh, this is my master latch made in two pieces out of sheet styrene. And once I had completed this to my satisfaction, it was time to make a mold of it. I poured silicone around it. Uh, and when you pour resin into that silicone mold, this is what you get. Actually, this is what you get because this is where the resin goes in and it comes through this sprue tree, fills up the parts and then you cut those parts off, clean them up, and you've got your casting. Now you might have noticed if you look carefully that I've got some screws here, some cap head screws. This is a technique I learned from Tony Preciado, my friend who's a master mold maker at Industrial Light and Magic. And Tony's technique is to actually place the screw in when you're molding the part. And then when you're casting it, you put a screw back in those positions, right? So it sits there in the silicone, and when you pour the resin around it, what you end up with is a screw that once you unscrew, pre-threads the holes in your mechanical part. It saves a tremendous amount of time on the other end. Now, it took me a few castings to get this correct. I ended up with actually a whole bag of castings. But once I had two that I loved, I cleaned them up, primed them, painted them, and they became the latches on my lunchbox. This kind of stuff happens here all the time, and I promise we'll cover it more in the future. Thanks for stopping by.